Uh, it's tough, you know. Um, you know, you just, I feel like, you know, I was just, I was just uh, I was talking to him yesterday, you know, it's, it's uh, tough to have, you know, someone that you see every day almost pass away and, you know, it, it just shows us that you know, we can't take anything for granted. You know, he was just here and, you know, I, I thought he was in good health and, you know, he, he looked healthy. And, uh, you know, now that, you know, he passed away, it's just tough. You know, I, I think he's definitely going to be, you know, uh, going to be missed, you know, by all of us. That was that was tough, man, because, you know, since I've been here, he was one of the main people that I was uh, in touch with and had a relationship with. So uh, for, for something like that to happen, I feel bad for, for his family. Um, you know, he, he meant a lot to this organization. Um, and he was into the community and helping out other people, uh, which is something that I'm big on. So, um, you know, I hate to see that happen to somebody, you know, especially a good guy like him and somebody that I actually had a relationship with. I was shocked. You know, shocking. You know, sad and prayers to, you know, his family. And it's really just didn't have words for it. It was just kind of one of those things where you just say, you, you read it twice and you're like, that can't, that can't be right. First of all, uh, before any questions, um, I'd like to express my uh, my sadness for um, the loss of Jerome Kersey. Obviously, he's uh, meant a lot to the franchise and the community, and uh, we're all very sad about that. And uh, my thoughts and prayers go out to Terry and his and his kids and his, the rest of his family. Hey, before any questions, you know, um, you know, Terry and I, we didn't have an opportunity today to go down to the media availability, you know, and the press conference about Jerome. But you know, clearly everybody's in the facility today with a heavy heart. I mean, Jerome was. I only got to know him the last two and a half years. He was an incredible guy, and he was a huge resource for us to have around our players, you know, talking about life after basketball. I mean, he was just a true success story. I mean, as a player, he was a gentleman, as a family man, and, you know, I know a lot of our guys looked up to him, and he was actually one of the few guys I actually listened to on Talking Ball that knew basketball. So, um, so anyway, I, I, I'm going to miss him a lot. I miss him as a friend, and my kids played with his kids, and. You know, and they were in the family room, and he's just a great guy. And it was it was really hard for us to hear about that last night. So I wanted to open with that, and you know, clearly he'll be honored in a way that's appropriate. You know, once we all get a chance to kind of catch our breath and and really process what's happened.